Uh, that's a great day for me. I remember a time, that was five, six years ago, uh, I met Kevin, uh, your editor, at uh, the Sportel in Monaco, and we discussed about CSR involvement. Yeah. And Peace and Sport cre was created four years ago. Yeah. The objective of Peace and Sport is to raise funds and to educate through sport and to demonstrate how much sport can help a sustainable peace. So we are at the very core of uh, this conference. We don't want uh, champions to come on the stage only for the photo. We have better to find out champions involved, able to get engaged, as Jack demonstrated this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, whatever the degree of uh, awareness of, uh, um, of uh, uh, whatever the degree of uh, of uh, respectability and uh, honor they have. Yeah. We want them to get involved. And what is more important for us is to show that they are not only here to accompany the movement, but to initiate it. And half of our champions now prepare projects, propose to peace and sport projects in uh, Africa, like Jack and others. So that's quite incredible because at the beginning, we are very shy, as I told, about the reality and possibilities of the champions. They have agendas, they have uh, uh, agents, and first reactions were not that positive. Now, we have found that most of them, once they identify the interest, the CSR interest of acting this way, they are okay and they come, and more and more come. We absolutely need to, de to, 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 develop, to develop this message to them and to tell them we need, we absolutely need your help. Yeah. Uh, many, many people speak about CSR. Uh, my, my feeling, my personal feeling that within the corporates, within the staff, uh, among the deciders, it's not the first priority of their agenda. And I do understand why. But we need to make efforts, more efforts, and this kind of conference helps to, to do it, to convince them that uh, it's making good is good business, and, and they need it. And we we feel that uh, we we need more champions to demonstrate. And champions are the key icons and key drivers of this change, because much more than Prince Albert, much more than any NGO, the champion when he demonstrates, like how champions demonstrate, can convince the deciders and the managers. Retired people. Uh, also, we think of coaches. For the moment, we have only champions, but we, more and more we think that coaches, well-known coaches or people on the spot who are involved in a specific area, are also, could also be uh, key drivers for the CSR activities. Yeah. I, I, I would love to have uh, 500 champions for peace, yeah. and most of them unknown, because uh, they would be champions in their area, the icons for their populations and communities, even if uh, nobody knows them uh, in Paris, in London, or elsewhere. So that's the idea of uh, having a, a wide range of possibilities through this network of champions.